Good morning and welcome to today's verse to God be the glory. What a great day it is today. It is Friday. Thank God it is Friday. Aren't you glad that when you know, you know, and this verse, it points to what we need to know. Verse uh, from Romans chapter 10, verse 4, today's verse, it says this, for Christ is the end of the law for righteousness to everyone who believes. Here, Paul is explaining that righteousness cannot be achieved through the law. That is by keeping a set of rules, regulations, by following uh, different customs and rituals, etc. But through faith in Christ and Christ alone. The Jews had sought righteousness through the law, but Christ fulfilled the law by offering a new way to be made right with God, that is through belief in him. Christ ended the law in that it, that he was the object toward which the law pointed through all the ceremonies and offerings and rituals, purification things and all that stuff. It all led toward Christ. The law was like a schoolmaster to point people to Christ. Christ ended the law by fulfilling the law completely and perfectly. He lived under the law. He kept it perfectly. He was sinless, obeying every rule and requirement of the law. Therefore, he was, is the ideal, perfect representation of all mankind. Christ ended the law and that he destroyed the penalty and the condemnation of the law against man. That is that Christ took our sin upon himself and paid that sin debt once and for all. He became our substitute. Yes, he who knew no sin became sin for you and for me that we might become the righteousness of God through him. We are to look to Christ and not the law, our religion or any effort of our own to earn salvation, to be made right with God. We are saved by the grace of God to all that believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. To God be the glory for the great things he has done. I pray that you would meditate upon this verse. It would be a word of encouragement to you as you go throughout this day. I pray that you would have a great day. Have a safe day. And then tune in again tomorrow. Yes, as we consider today's verse. Amen.